Imagine this. There has just been a bomb in Independence just outside Kansas City. You're seriously injured. You have no idea what to do. People around you are falling to the ground. You need someone you need them now. I have chosen to become a nurse practitioner or an NP. A nurse practitioner is a nurse that has a master's in science. Nurse practitioners count their own patients, they can order x-rays and a diagnostic test. They can prescribe medication and physical therapy. Nurse practitioners have to be good at counseling and communication. If I wasn't a nurse practitioner, my second choice would be a registered nurse or a RN. A registered nurse only has to have their bachelor's, which is four years of college. My third choice would be a farmer. Farmers don't really have to have any college. A opportunity cost is the highest valued alternative, which one is forced to give up in order to get their first choice. My opportunity cost is that I gave up becoming a registered nurse to become a nurse practitioner. The reason I did this was because a nurse practitioner has more responsibility. Three positive incentives of becoming a nurse practitioner is that I get to, my own patient, get to have my own patients. This is important to me because it gives me more responsibility. My second one is that I get to save lives and help people get back to their normal lives. I feel like this is important because it makes my, me feel about, good about myself and my job. My third one is I, I get to learn leadership skills and this helps you later on in life. Three negative incentives of becoming a nurse practitioner is that I could be on call a lot. The reason that this is negative is because I could be on call on the weekend or I could be on call and I have to go to work the next day and I won't get that much sleep. My second one is I could get sick from my patients if they have contagious disease or sickness and this could affect my job and the money I get. My third one is I could get sued by family if I accidentally make a wrong assumption about what that patient has or if I give the family member the wrong medication. On my specialty, I make $67,000 a year, $5,583.33 a month. For charity, my student estimate was $25, my parent estimate was $200, I ended up giving $380 to charity. I don't have any money for public transportation because I said I would drive, my, drive myself everywhere in my car. And I was surprised about how much money taxes were because I thought it would be a lot more. My pie chart is divided into nine parts. The highest is taxes at 31%, discretionary at 29%, housing at 14%, medical insurance at 8%, Transportation at 7%, utilities at 6%, food and school loans set at 4%, and toiletries at 0.4%. A trade-off is gaining a little more of one alternative in exchange for a little less of a different alternative. One, three trade-off trade-offs is I gave up a new car so I could give more money to charity. I felt like a new car wasn't as important as giving money to charity. My second one is I took money from miscellaneous so that I could have more money for savings. I felt like saving up for a new house wasn't as important as miscellaneous. My third one is I only put $10 in entertainment so I could have more money for a pet. I felt like watching movies wasn't as important as having a pet. On my resume, I decided to be attending Wichita State University because it's close to home and it has a nursing program. I'll be attending Wichita State University for my bachelor's and my master's in science. A bachelor's is four years of college, and then I'll become a registered nurse. Once I'm a registered nurse, I'll go to work for experience. And I'll go back to school to get my master's, which can take anywhere from two to four years of college. On my letter of application, I sent it to Children's Mercy's Hospital. I sent it to Children's Mercy's Hospital because it's 20 minutes away from where I'm going to live and the patients are in anywhere from when they're first born to the age of 21. On my letter of application, I said that I was impressed about how kind and caring the doctors and nurses are to their patients. <coughs> 
My first website talks about how to become a nurse practitioner and what a nurse practitioner is. My second website talks about the education and training qualifications and why nurse practitioners are important. My third website talks about how to become a nurse practitioner. My fourth website talks about the working conditions and the academic requirements to become a nurse practitioner. My fifth website talks about how to become a nurse practitioner and the work environments of a nurse practitioner. All of my articles talk about how to become a nurse practitioner and how important nurse practitioners are in the medical field today. Think back to the beginning. There's been a bombing. You're seriously injured. You don't know it yet, but I'm in the hospital waiting for your arrival. 